Napashare ulit ako ng content. Pashare ng content. Sandali lang po ha, nakikiusap lang po ako ng share ng content. Okay lang ma'am. Okay lang ma'am. Naku, gumanda na, nakaipit na. <laughs> Nakatali na si ano ah, Miss President. <laughs> <laughs> Wala si Susmita. Accept ko na lang. Accept na lang natin siya, mamaya. Kasi mag-ano pa ako. Wala pa, hindi ko siya ma-share. Saan na tayo? Medyo mahababa na tayo, ha? Sandali lang po. Ayan na si Smita. Ayan. Smita came. My God. Ma'am, matatapos ng 5 o'clock yan. Oh, pipilitin kong tapusin ha. Tatapusin natin. Pag ano, pwede ka nang mag-exit. I-share ko na lang namin yung slides sa inyo. Opo, ma'am. Pakisend na lang. Five o'clock siguro mag-out na ako. Oo. Mm -mm. Kaputol-putol kasi itong ano eh. Hindi ko alam yung pag ano magigla na cut. Just wait. Actually, in nursing, uh, bed making is actual, actual for us. But since we are here, si Bess, Bess Dina nagtatanong pa. Dina? <laughs> si Dina, saan ka pupunta? Sabi <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Malayo na rin na nating natin.
because there are so many kinds uh, now we are in amputation you know extra requirement for uh, amputation is a uh, uh, amputation bed with a cradle a flannate a pin, a counter, a counter pain, a tray with tourniquet and dressing towel and bed linen now this one is the procedure you have to gather all the needed supply make the bed as as you are making an occupied bed because uh, there is someone on the bed and uh, the patient is orthopedic or any uh, it's a uh, special type of bed the foot end side of the top linen and folded back to the head and the end of at the level of the part of to be observed if the if it is uh, Below knee amputation, spread the spread the second uh, set of linen, starting from level of stump. The second set of top linen should overlap the first by eight to twelve inches. Receive the patient and elevate the stump or pillow and place in the sandbag on the other side to support the stump. Uh, place the bed cradle in position and cover the patient. Uh, just like this a fractured patient in bed is the one who who will use uh, this one use the patient with fracture on the trunk or extremities to provide a firm support by the use of firm mattress that rests on the bed of a fracture if this is a fractured bed a fracture bed also is a aid to immobilize the fracture prevent unnecessary pain provide the warm and comfort to the patient uh, prevent undue sagging of mattress. Uh, it is important for a fracture bed that uh, uh, because the patient is immobilized, there is a, uh, something that hanging on him. Uh, because if you move that thing for you and um, the problem is the bed making, uh, it may cause a painful uh, thing for them and um, it is really painful for them. Um, with this fracture bed, it provides them warm and comfort for patients and uh, do not uh, make the mattress sagging for them. Uh, this is article required. A supply as an open bed, extra supply like a fracture uh, board, a, a bed cradle, sandbag, cover sheet, hot water bottles with cover as necessary. It depends on uh, what kind of uh, fracture the patient has been undergone and the procedure is that gather all the needed supplies placed in a fracture board uh, board directly over the bed uh, make the bed as open bed and spread the cover sheet between the bottom and the top place hot water bottles in between uh, to warm the bed place a sandbag to support the part in order to maintain position um, when the patient is receiving receive in bed the patient the cradle over the fracture part and cover it uh, later on i will show you each uh, picture for this one uh, cardiac bed cardiac bed is made with special arrangement with a which are required for a cardiac patient cardiac patient in bed is made in a manner to ease respiration of patient bed is provided with extra pillow to be kept on the head side patient to keep the patient in palm up position for better airflow there is a special cardiac table provided with the patient bed with all the equipment available for emergency cardiovascular support like oxygen mask nasogastric tube and others huh we finished already <laughs> we finish already okay okay i'll, I'll show you some uh, uh this is a uh, bed making only uh we have also pwede pong mag exam si sush oh mag exam na si sush uh the thing is that uh Kala ko po ma may positioning pa. 
Ah, uh, may position um uh, positioning nga, yung nga lang ang ano sandali ha. Next ano na yun? Next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Medyo mahaba kasi yung ano. Dalawang Friday pa niyan yung ano, di ba? Bago ex na muna. <laughs> <laughs> Exam. Exam na naman. <laughs> oh my God. Relax na ako ngayong ano, weekend. Ay na nga yung ano eh. Limang araw. <laughs> <laughs> Napagod ako nung exam. <laughs> ah, kaya pa na ano, nag-get na ano yung... Ito yung chapter, uh, ano, lifting, moving, and positioning the patient. Yan. Ay, hindi ito. Hindi pa ito yung ano. Sandali. One minute. Bed positioning for the patient. Uh, usually this one, uh, because I prepared before this one, there is one more. Positioning, one minute, ha? On the screen. Okay, ito na lang muna. Para pagka ano, yung iba, tapusin mo lang yun. Naku, nagagalit na ata yung ano. Nagagalit na nga ata. Oo, oh, oh, lifting. Ramadan nga, Ramadan. Okay, padaanan ko na lang, tapos yung iba, balikan na lang natin. Oh, oh, hindi ko. Number one, there are different type of position for the patient. Um, number one is supine. This is lying down on your back, in your back with arms and side. The purpose for this one is physical examination, resting in bed, undergoing anesthesia. Uh, the proper position for the supine is uh, uh, directly on the back. Arms and side. Now you can see the occiput, the vertebra, the humerus, the elbow, the sacrum, the thigh, and the heel and the toes. Number two is that uh, the dorsal uh, recumbent, lying on the back with arm side, leg apart, knees uh, bent, and uh, feet flat on bed for the physical examination, abdomen, genitalia, perineal care examination during labor. Uh, usually this one, dorsal recumbent, is usually the one we are doing for, if we have an examination for, like for example, for abdomen, uh, or if anything that, like genitalia, or you, if you have this pagbuntis uh, ka, uh, like that, or if you have a perineal care examination during labor, this is the right position for the patient. Uh, usually the dorsal recumbent, this uh, dorsal, uh, dorsal recumbent position, and there is also dorsal recumbent like lithotomy position. Lithotomy position is this a position usually when uh, you deliver a child. Usually, ganito ang position ng uh, nangangana. Now, the dorsal recumbent position, the client lies on on her or his back with legs separate, knees flat and sole, uh, sole of the feet flat on the bed or in the table. One pillow is placed under the head. The uses for this one. Assessment, for, assessment of head, neck, anterior thorax, and lungs, heart, breast, uh, extremity for checking the peripheral pulses. 
This is usually a vulval or vaginal examination. Usually also done this one with rectal examination. Um, uh, for operation procedure for vulvar areas, or also for catheterization for urinary bladder. Usually this position, there's a recommend we are doing for um, those who are uh, for delivery, uh, for uh, putting catheterization, or for putting uh, or urinary, a bladder check, abdomen, um, rectal, also for uh, what you call this one, um, uh, for the rectal examination. And the Trendelin bird position, which is uh, lying on the back with arms at side, bed position, foot <laughs> higher than the head. The purpose for this one is during the abdominal surgery to ship abdominal contents are toward. Usually this one, uh, this position is doing in the operating room. Or if there is any patient who is shocked and in a shock position, um, they position the patient with Trendelenburg position so that the, the blood circulation will go to the brain. Um, binabaliktad nila yung ano, tinataas nila yung paa para yung return ng blood flow niya mapunta sa brain. These are some of the example for uh, positioning. The prone position, yung nakadapa. So, fine position, ito yung nakatihaya. Uh, right lateral recumbent, yung tagilid. Um, left uh, lateral recumbent, tagilid din sa left. Fowler position, which is uh, like sitting down. Uh, Trendelin bird usually is using uh, using for patient with shock. Fowler position, those patient with cardio, those patient with um, like asthma have difficulty of breathing, and um, there are different types of Fowler position. This is a Fowler position. A 90 degrees semi fowler position, and also there is also other types of trendelin bird, which is a uh, trendelin bird and reverse trendelin bird. Also, a uh, reverse trendelin bird is lying on the back with his arm at side bed posi position so that the head is higher than the foot but no flexion and the rib. The purpose of this one after a certain uh, and geography procedure allow the head of the bed to be elevated without causing pressure of a femoral artery during certain abdominal uh, surgeries to shift to shift abdominal contents downward. Uh, they are doing this one um, reverse trendelin bird for those of patients who have this uh, abdominal uh, surgery. The one uh, like uh, when they do laparoscopy or uh, any operative that is uh, from the abdomen so that um, the drainage uh, from the abdomen will be shifted. And then also the lateral, the side lying left or right side supported behind the back between the knees, uh, ankles with pillow and good body alignment. The purpose for this one is for the patient comfort and promote lung and cardiac function to relieve pressure from body prominence from coccyx and sacrum. This is um, the right position if the patient has this cardiac uh, and um, cardiac problem or any lung uh, difficulty of beating also side sideways or if you have operation uh, from the back like coccyx or sacrum, it will relieve the pressure. And same position, this side lying left side and sem in semi-prone position with left leg flex and down up down, the chest left arm is positioned along the patient back. The purpose for this one is rectal examination to administer animals. Usually, this same position, uh, they will when they will do for you animals, uh, they they you will have to position the patient at uh, side lying position from the left. Um, this one animals to evacuate 
the patient to the uh, toilet so that during the operation the patient is clean there is any any feces found in his abdomen abdomen so this is the same position there is also knee chest position this knee chest position usually when the patient is having we also suggest this one when you have this menorrhea, you have to do this one and it will relieve the uh, the pain that you are experiencing do, during uh, during uh, uh, menstrual period. Oh, we are done already. This one. one minute. And number seven, orthopedic. Orthopedic is a sit sitting upright on head, bed elevated at 90 degrees. On the side of the bed with feet flat on the floor, patient is leaning uh, slightly forward with arms, raised elbow, and flex supported with overhead table. Uh, the purpose for this one is to assist the patient in reverse respiratory distress by allowing the chest to expand to the maximum capacities for moving of air in and out of the lungs. Usually this one, if the patient has severe respiratory distress, they position the patient with this orthopedic uh, uh, position or orthopnic, they will call orthopnic uh, position, 90 degrees. The prone position is lying on the stomach with head turned to the side. The purpose of prone is to improve oxygenation of the patient with accurate respiratory distress. Uh, to relieve pressure on the back, coccyx, and hip. Yeah, they are doing this one. A prone position if you have any problem regarding on the, on the back, coccyx, and hips. A uh, patient, they will put the patient for a hip position. To the prune position. Lithotomy. Lithotomy is lying on the back with knee flex above the hips and legs supported in stirrups. The purpose for this one is vaginal or gynecological surgery and examination for delivery of neonate, neonate pelvic or gynecological surgery for procedure. Usually this one we are doing for those who are delivery baby if there's any problem for the gynecology uh, if there's any vaginal discharges or de anything that uh, like a mask on the ovary or uterus like that uh, that is the position like that the fowler position sitting position with various degree uh, the head uh, elevation with knee slightly elevated the purpose is this one based on the elevation. The low, the low fowler position, the head of the bed elevated 30 degrees. The purpose for this one is to prevent aspiration during the tube feeding. Uh, when feeding a child or any patient um, from after surgery, uh, you put the patient in fo uh, low fowler position for to prevent uh, aspiration, pneumonia, like that. Semi fowler position, the head. Is on the bed 45 degrees. The purpose for this one for comfortable watch television, converse with converse with visitors after the abdominal surgeries to relieve tension and incision to assist the patient to have difficulty of breathing. Yeah, the semi fowler position it is used for those patients have difficulty for breathing, like asthma also asthma, and uh, those who have these abdominal surgeries uh, to relieve tensions. The higher position is a head on bed, 90 degrees. This is the purpose is to eat, drink without risk of choking. To assist the patient who have difficulty of breathing, you have to put the patient at 90 degrees. This is the fowler position. Usually, uh, they tell that the... Uh, characteristic of this uh, position is a low position is 15 to 30, uh, semi is 30 to 45, standard is 40 to 60, and high uh, standard position is 80 to 90 degrees. This is the high, uh, 
high fowler position, semi fowler position, and supine position. Now, positioning the patient in bed, in operating room. Patient positioning in bed, in operating room. Patient position in bed. Positioning a patient in bed, commonly procedure in hospital. There are various positions possible for patients which they determine by their condition, preference, and treatment related to illness. Like, for example, the supine position. A patient lies flat on back. Additional supportive devices may be added for comfort, that is a fine position. Wrong position, a uh, patient lies on the stomach on the other side. This is the prone position. And uh, the patient lies on the side of the body on the top of the leg or uh, over a bottom of the leg. The position will help the coccyx. In coccyx, the small bony part of our uh, on our lumbar. Yung para if there is, uh, it's really painful this one, if uh, this is heat or traumatic also. And the lateral position, the patient, uh, the seems position, patient lies supine and prone in legs flex in the front of the patient. The arm should be um, base on the patient, not underneath at all. When you are doing positioning, like for example for enema, uh, this is the position that the patient should do. The fowler position, patient head at 45 degrees angle, hip flex, provide the patient comfort. This is the fowler position, semi fowler position. And the Trendelenburg position. This is space when uh, you have to lower the uh, the patient. You have to put in high the feet when there is a lack of oxygen. You have to put the patient in a Trendelenburg position or tuk or tuknik or tuknik also. I think this is all for today um, because uh, there are still have uh, uh, something that we have to discuss like uh, transferring a patient from bed like that and um, the things that you have to do. And uh, I will share to you next time. Uh, I think uh, uh, they need already uh, Sus and Ate. Uh, they need already the to take examination. And yung grades nyo, i-ano ko na lang, pwede, i ipadala ko na lang sa inyo sa WhatsApp. Okay lang? Okay lang po, ma. Okay lang, ma. Okay, okay lang. Okay, okay lang po. po. Ah, sige po. Okay. And, uh, okay. And then, Sus, uh, Sus, uh, you will take examination now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, you have a uh, uh, you have uh, two session, the part one and part two. The part one is the uh, Maslow hierarchy, uh, the developmental and the cultural. Then the other one is the communicable disease. Uh, it's okay. It's almost practical. You can open notes like that. But uh, I will give you each uh, each uh, session one hour. Is it okay for you? Okay. Uh, and Irene, Irene, you still here? Chati Irene? Nandiyan yata, ma'am. Yes, yes. Irene, uh, you will take it. Uh, Ate Irene, mag-exam ka or next time? Pwede pong bukas siya lang po ako kasi po alis na din po kami maya, maya po. Nilo, oh, may nag-gulong nga po ako. Oh, sige na, te. Sige na, te. Okay lang. Anong oras tayo bukas? Kahit sa umaga po. Wala po akong problema sa umaga po. Ay, sa umaga? O oh, sige, pwedeng i-message kita bukas. 
Pwedeng siguro mga dalawang oras lang naman siguro kaya ano. Open Opo, lang Problema eh? po ba sa tsamaga po sa akin kasi mga tulog oh. pa po sila ay gumigising yung mga tanghali oh, na po. Pwedeng mga, mga 11 o'clock mag-start tayo? Opo, opo. Pwede, pwede na 11 po. Oh, sige po. Okay po. Okay, thank you. Sige thank na you po. Magtrabaho. Okay. Magtrabaho ka natin bukas na lang tayo. And then, uh, uh, Susmita, I will send you na uh, I will send you the question here in WhatsApp and then uh, you will write in a paper And then you send it back to me. You have to picture and send it back to me. It's okay. okay. Yes, and then yes. next time, uh, for your next examination, I will try my best to do it in uh, in phone or in your iPad and send it back to me so that immediately you could get the result. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you so much for the time. And uh, take care, relax. Uh, you want examination or next time? Hindi, <laughs> 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 tapusin na lang muna natin yung ano. Oh, we have to finish oh, first. <laughs> yeah, we have to finish first the um, bed making, uh, positioning, um, transferring a patient, everything that, and then after that, we have the examination. It's okay? Yes, ma'am. It's better. Okay po, thank you. Yung, yung, ano ma'am, pakisend na lang po itong ano ma'am. Lahat oh, po ito? Na. Nasa slide? Lahat po ito ma'am? Nasa slide? Ano, uh, kasi hindi ko pa naayos kasi yan. Ayusin ko pa. Isend ko na lang sa inyo. Okay lang ba? Pero okay pag na-screenshot po. Pag na pag na screenshot niyo, okay naman yan. Kaya lang kasi yung ano, i-organize ko pa siya. Okay lang so, ma'am. Uh, sige po. Okay, no problem po. Okay, mm -hmm. send ko na lang sa inyo, ha? Is okay, Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. God bless. Okay. Thank, Thank you po. Thank you po. Oh, congratulations. You, And okay naman kayo nakapasa kayo na. Ma'am, i-message mo na lang ito ako, ha? Okay, okay. okay. Sige po, ma'am. Irene. Sus, you are still there? Yes, ma'am. I will send you now, ha? Okay? Okay, ma'am. The first uh, part is matching, uh, matching, uh, Answer. You have to match the answer, okay? And the second part is there is definition, there's enumeration, and also you have to matching type, okay? Okay, ma'am. And then, uh, one minute. I will send you now. Sus, I send you already, ha? Huh? Okay, ma'am. <clears throat> Is it okay for you? I will. I don't know because anytime it will be, it will be uh, finished. It is okay for you. I will send you now this one, and then the other one. Just send me your result, uh, your your answer, and then I will send you another one. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Excited na. Si Esther ba to? Alam, hindi ko alam yung mga ano niyo eh. Oh. Picture daw, ma'am. <laughs> Busy na si Sush. 
Ito siya. <laughs> si SQ number mo ay ano? Uh, No me lo que está Pasensya na, hindi ako mabagal ako sa ano. Session 2. Tapos na ma'am na. Oo, oh, tapos na tayo. Pero ano yung grades yung inaano ko? <laughs> yung grades po? Oo. Oh. Sabi nila may picture pa daw. <laughs> Ate, picture lang ko? Opo. Okay. Kasi hindi kami marunong mag, ano. Ah. Kasi <laughs> mga